Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about time. So our learning goal for today says, I can tell time to the nearest five minutes and relate a.m. and p.m. to the time of day. So we're going to be doing the same things that we've been doing in the previous lesson, talking about telling time, but now we're going to add on a.m. and p.m. to our telling of time. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board and this lesson template. Now this is in your math book, but it's completely optional because I'm gonna show you all of these pictures in our video today. So if you don't have that, that's absolutely okay. Um, you can also, if you do have it and you finish the lesson, you are welcome to cut these out and make this into like a little book of like a routine for the day. Um, and then you can color it later if you want to. Uh, that's just something that's completely optional and up to you if you would like to do that later. I know that my own children would love to take a break and have some coloring time once they finish their math. So if you have time, you're welcome to do that. All right, so let's get started with our lesson. So we've been working on telling time to the nearest five minutes. Today, we're going to continue to practice telling time, but add something else. Ready? AM and PM. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about morning time and afternoon time. So things we do in the morning are labeled as AM, like good morning, rise and shine. Okay, that's our morning time. So we use AM as a short way to talk about the time between 12 o'clock midnight in the middle of the night and 12 noon. We could say that as AM. So I kind of like to think of it as things that happen like once we wake up in the morning. So like right around the time when we have lunch, those are all like AM times of the day. So what are some things that we do in the morning, like before we have lunch? What's the very first thing you do every single day? Yeah, we wake up, right? That's the first thing, right? So then maybe after you wake up, maybe you brush your teeth. I know I do. I get dressed. I eat my breakfast. Sometimes I brush my teeth again after breakfast. I go to school. Maybe have a morning snack, okay? So those are all some things that you can do in the morning. So things we do after lunch and into nighttime are labeled as PM. We use PM as a way to talk about the time between 12 o'clock noon and midnight. Sometimes I like to think about, about things that we've done like after lunch and into like the evening and our bedtime. What are some things that we do after lunch? Yeah, we might maybe play outside. And then as the day goes on, we're gonna have dinner, eat dinner. And then we get ready for bed. And then we go to sleep and then, oh, I'm so tired. It's time for night. Good night, right? That's definitely a PM thing when we go to sleep. So how can we remember which comes first, AM or PM? So here's a little trick I like to think about. So which letter comes first in the alphabet, A or P? Yeah, A does, right? So AM comes first in the day, so that's the morning time. And P in the alphabet comes later, and that's in the afternoon. So which comes first in the day, the morning or the afternoon? Yeah, morning. So AM is morning. So that's just another cool trick to be able to remember which one comes first, AM or PM. A is first in the alphabet, so AM comes first. All right, so let's look at some examples of things that happen during the day. What's happening in this picture? So you gotta look closely at everything. Yeah, so she's, it looks like she could be either getting into bed or getting up from bed. But then when I look in the picture in the window there, it kind of looks like the sun is coming up, right? because he's all happy, he must have had a good night's sleep. So I think this is probably her getting up in the morning. Okay, so I want you guys to you pause the video and you're gonna write the time and circle a.m. or p.m. or write in a.m. or p.m. So if you have your template, you can circle it. If you don't, you would write a.m. or p.m. So pause the video, write the time on the clock, and then write a.m. or p.m. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time.
So when I look at this clock, my hour hand is in between the six and the seven. So that tells me it's going to be six something. That's our hour is six. And then the minute hand is on the six. So that goes all the way around. We count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the time is 630. And I know that it's a.m. because she's getting up in the morning and a.m. is morning time. All right, so let's take a look at another one. So what's happening in this picture? Looks like she's eating, right? I think she's probably eating some breakfast. So I want you guys to pause the video. You're gonna write the time and circle AM or PM and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So when I look at the time here, it's pretty close for the hour hand is pretty close to the seven, but it's not quite there yet. So that means I'm gonna still be in the six o'clock hour. And then my minute hand is pointing to the 10. So I have to count all the way around by fives until I get to the 10. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So the time is 6.50. And because she's eating breakfast, it's a.m. Okay, so did you guys get that one? All right, awesome. All right, let's look at another one. What's happening in this picture? Yeah, it looks like she's going to get on the bus, right? She's not getting off the bus, she's getting on the bus. So think about when that occurs, when you get on a bus. So you're gonna write the time and circle a.m. or p.m. I think she's getting on the bus headed to school. So pause the video, write the time, and circle a.m. or p.m. and click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's what I think the time is. So as I look, my hour hand is that shorter hand, and it's between the seven and the eight, so that means we're still in the seven o'clock hour, and we're pointing to the three, which means I count around by fives for my minute hand. So five, 10, 15. So the time is 7.15. And because she's getting on the bus to go to school, it's a.m. So the time is 7.15 a.m. So that's the morning time. All right, so let's take a look at another one. What's happening in this picture? Yeah, it looks like she's walking in saying, hey friends, I'm here. Let's have a great day at school, right? Might be saying, hey, Mrs. Walker. So as you look at that, they're going into school. So I want you guys to look at the time on the clock. You're gonna write the time and circle AM or PM. Pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so our hour hand is pretty much right on that eight o'clock. So we know that the hour is eight o'clock and our minute hand is on the five. So I just need to count by fives one time from zero to five, so it's 8.05. And we know that it's 8.05 a.m. because she's getting to school in the morning. So that means it's happening first thing in the morning, so that's a.m. All right, so awesome job with that one, friends. Let's take a look at another one. So what's happening in this picture? Yeah, it looks like they're having lunch, right? Okay, so let's think about lunchtime. So you're gonna write the time and circle a.m. or p.m. Now, when you look at this, this one might be a little bit tricky whether to think a.m. or p.m. because sometimes you have lunch kind of really close to the middle of the day. So you wanna be thinking um, a.m. in the morning or p.m. like in the afternoon and evening. So pause the video, write the time on the clock and show or circle a.m. or p.m. and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so when I look at my clock, I see that my hour hand, the short hand, is in between the 11 and the 12. So that means we're in the 11 o'clock hour. And then I need to count around by fives for my minute hand all the way to the five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the time is 1125 and it's a.m. Because friends, if it was p.m., that would be nighttime, and I'm already in bed at 11.25 p.m., and I know you guys are probably too. 
Okay, let's take a look at another one. Oh, she's so excited she's getting off the bus because she's home from school. So awesome. I bet that's a cool feeling. I remember I loved that when I got off the bus when I was your age. Okay, so friends, she got off the bus after school. You're going to write the time in circle AM or PM. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, let's take a look at our clock. Our hour hand, the shorthand, is in between the hours and of 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. So that tells us that we're in the 3 o'clock hour still. And then our minute hand is pointing to the 4, so we're going to count around by 5s. So starting at 12, and then here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so the time is 3.20. And it's the afternoon because she's done with school, so that's p.m. Okay, friends, remember when you're trying to find the minutes, get your finger out and touch that clock as you say those numbers and you skip count by fives. Okay, so you start at 12, which is zero. You say five, you should be pointing at the one. When you say 10, you should be pointing at the two. Three should be 15. Four should be 20. Okay, use your fingers to touch it. The more you can touch it, the easier it becomes to tell time and then you don't have to touch the clock anymore. Okay, so that's just a good strategy to use. All right, let's take a look at our, oh, almost our last one. Close. All right, so here, oh, what's this family doing right now? Yeah, it looks like maybe they're having dinner. That looks delicious. I love it. All right, so friends, you're going to write the time and circle AM or PM for the time that they're having dinner. So pause the video. Write your time in circle AM or PM and click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so let's look at our clock. So we have the hour hand, the short hand is between the five and the six. So you might be tempted right now to say it's six o'clock, but it's not. It has to be either touching that six straight on or after to be in the six o'clock hour. So we are actually still in the five o'clock hour for this one, okay? So then we look at our minute hand, which is all the way on the nine. So we have to skip count all the way around starting at the 12 and go all the way to the nine, okay? So we're gonna skip count together and I want you to get your finger out and I want you to point to those numbers as we can skip count by fives, okay? So we're starting at the 12, so your finger should be on the 12, ready? Okay, here we go. Five. So get it on the one. Okay, here we go. Keep going. 10, 20, 30. Oh, friends, I counted wrong. <laughs> Let's go back to the 12. See, even teachers make mistakes. All right, I forgot about that poor 15. I left him out. All right, everybody back to the 12, starting at zero. Okay, so we're at zero. Five should be one. Ready? Keep going. 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, your finger should be on the six. Okay, keep going. 35, 40, 45, and you should be on the nine now. So the time is 5.45, and it's p.m. because they're having dinner in the evening. All right, friends, here is our very last one. What's happening in this picture? Yeah, it looks like she's going to bed, right? She's all comfy cozy. She's got a little teddy bear. The sky is dark in the background. So she is in bed sleeping. Okay, so I want you guys to write the time in circle AM or PM. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, let's talk about the time. So if you need more time, click pause. Otherwise, I'm ready to move on and talk about the time. Okay, so when we look at our hour hand, the shorthand, remember, is in between the 8 and 9. So that means that we're still in the 8 o'clock hour. Our long hand, which is our minute hand, is on the 7. So we got to get ready to skip count around by 5s. So I want you to get that finger out, put it on the 12, and we're going to skip count together. And I'm going to stop at certain numbers, and hopefully you'll be on the same number as me as we go through. Okay, so we're going to start at 0 for 12 o'clock. So the first number is five, go to the one. Let's keep going. 10, 15, 20, you should be at the four. Here we go, 25, 30, 35. 
So we stop at the 7, which is 35. So the time is 8.35, and it's p.m. because it's nighttime. Okay, so awesome job with that one, friends. All right, nice work. You guys did such a great job telling time to the nearest five minutes with a.m. and p.m. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Thank you.